Hi there, Chris here. Oops, Alexa, turn off music. I'd love to play that, but I, I think we get in trouble if we play uh, music without paying them. So, anyway, lots of stuff here. Um, where to start? Where to start? Oh, one thing. Uh, here's a cancellation I can get behind. Uh, the power company here was supposed to be turning off the juice today at, this morning at 9 o'clock, from 9 o'clock to 4 o'clock to do, quote, safety maintenance. And I get alerts to that effect. And last night, they canceled it. So finally, a cancellation I, <laughs> of an event that I can get behind. Anyway, um, those power outages don't really affect me in the lab because I, I cut the main power, get my generator and have a two-sided plug, plug the generator into a GFI in the kitchen. So I got my refrigerator, the lock lab lights and everything. So and I can make my coffee and because it all runs off the generator on that circuit. So uh, I'm glad they canceled that. Uh, the next thing is I've been picking these um, Lockwood style ovals with the Lishi. I got a ton of them. None of them had keys. This one um, I picked. I haven't picked this one on camera, but I picked it and gutted it. And it does. The other ones. The other one that I gutted. Whoa! Sorry, I had a wreck. Um, the other one that I gutted did not have the tapered lockwood pins. This one does that have the tapered lockwood key pins anyway. So I made up this key. I just called this L2 and cut a key to fit. Um, and I just used the key pins that were in it except for the sixth one I'm hanging off the back. And that one is, I took a different pin out of my American Lockwood uh, pinning kit. So that's that. I'm going to pick this real quick. Actually, I'm going to rake it. And then I'll gut it and show you now it has Lockwood key pins in it with the tapers. Also, um, I wrapped these some of my picks with this uh, cloth tape, which is really cool. Did a video on that. I'm really liking it. Um, it's very comfortable. This was what I had before, and it was, even with this, it was uncomfortable, but this is quite comfortable. And if you wanted to make it even a little thicker, you could just cut a couple of cardboard blanks to fit on either side and then wrap that into it. So let's go ahead and rake this. Um, this one was it was a tough one to pick with the leashy. Like I said, I didn't pick it on camera, but um, I wanted to start making keys for this. It should be able to rock this thing open. Rock zip rock and roll. Of course now it won't go because I'm on camera. Who is it? Probably one or two. There we go. It was five or six. So I've got this to just show you the difference, the, the pins in it. Now I do have a key so I can lock it back up. This is just an Ilco blank. Um, I cut it on my key machine, just sort of freehand. You can see the Lockwood, for some reason the Lockwood uh, code card, it's not the, the correct spacing or depth, but I just go in here, mark this, mark where the holes are, and then just sort of free cut it. So, um, let's gut this. We'll gut that. Yeah, so this video is gonna take care of a lot of, <laughs> a lot of stuff that I sort of had going on. The, whoa, Sook, sorry. 
the handle wrap, how I like that. Uh, I don't, I don't notice any feedback, missing any feedback with that. I don't need much feedback to be able to feel stuff. And it is, it is way more comfortable. So I will be wrapping more of the Valerian uh, picks that I got from, I want to say Skull Picker. Um, finish him here. His, what, 200, 300? Something, something giveaway. Thank you, Skull Picker. All right, so, bingo, bango, bongo. We have six pins. Um, everybody, these are Lockwood ones. This is a, an American Lockwood one. Everybody needed picking. So, one, two, three, four, five and a half, six. I had some tweezers. Here we go. I think that's how they went. I'll figure them out. But what I did, actually, what I did want to show you is that these key pins do have that lock, Lockwood taper whoops, on them. And the other one I picked with the leash, she did not. Oops. Although the driver pins are not... They're not Lockwood, so it's still kind of a Schlockwood lock. All right, get this out of there. A little tight. <clears throat> but we'll uh, get this quickly. Bingo. Bingo. Bongo. I think these are all the same size. I didn't pay much attention. And I'll give you, I'll pull one of them up. And we should have one more. Boom. And actually, I could put some, I don't think I have any Lockwood spools. But I could put some lap spools in it, or I could put some ass uh, barrels or something to make it more fun. So it doesn't rake so easily. All right, you get the idea. So what did I say I was gonna do? Oh, show one of these pins. Time to cut my nails. So they don't have the taper on there. They're sort of rounded on both ends, which is makes it easier to easier to pick. So that's that. Where's our key again? Here's our L2 key. And that's that was the key pins that were in there other than the six pin which I hung off. Okay, so that's that. Then, <laughs> wrapping up a lot of stuff. Um, in yesterday's video, I got this very cool radio lock. Somebody asked, how do you tune it? And I'm not sure. I don't think I know how to make tune-in channels. But I have Alexa for that. Um, it's a beautiful old lock. It's made in the USA. I don't know about what year. Well, maybe, maybe William Mansell commented on that. But I did comment while turning this, saying it felt... Like, even though the key looks like a dot, um, it felt like there's only one lever in there. So I do have some pick wires, and I thought I would get in here and try and pick it. With the, just with the pick wire to hit the, hit that one lever. And of course it doesn't work real well on camera. You do have to kind of find it. There we go. And we're open. 
So that's that very cool radio lock. <laughs> Not much skill involved with that. It's just feeling around to get the to get the spring tension. Uh, but I do want to start trying to pick multi lever locks because um, I have a bunch of them and I have some more coming. So. I think that wraps up just about everything that I've been talking about the last couple of days. Um, yeah, I really like this. Um, I don't, I don't experience a loss of feedback. Um, like I say, I don't really need much feedback. Part of the reason is I hold the locks in my hand, so I get I get get feedback from everything, and I can hear fairly fairly well. Okay, um, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like, subscribe, um, certainly leave a comment, and we will see you next time.